Hi, I'm Miriam Gamble. I'm recording this in Edinburgh on a grisly August day in 2020. Happy Scottish summer. Um, I'm going to read two poems from my most recent book, What Planet, uh, which was published by Blood Axe in 2019. The first one is set in my teens, so quite some time ago now. It has an I, a you and a we revolving around within it, uh, all of which broadly refer to the same individual, though the you is also a kind of figuration of anorexia. It's called Person. When we ate salt, you were uncontrollable, a locked-in pony with a lick hiking up those minerals. Everything had salt added to it, not that there was much of anything, but still Philadelphia on toast. I don't think you even liked it. It was more a proposition, a command of earth, as we went bone thin, as the brittle form clattered across the pavements, jinked through the meadows. Our mother said it was a sin how you lived. You were taking years off my life, she told you, when she dug bagged dinners from the satchel. We would go out walking. You were only ever interested in scouting bins. It's not as though I didn't care you were killing her. You sensed fat shaking at my back, genuinely caught its ripple as I broached each step, though there wasn't any there. In the mirror, you observed an Alice. Though nothing can be claimed self-evident or true to a chemical or the host of one, you would eat dry tuna out of cat bowls, you would suck salt from an empty plate. We were made of chocolate. You measured everything by weight, not even weight, the size. When a hypnotist assayed you, you were stout as a pachyderm. The fly grey matter redistributed itself in a rhino hide of deflection. Albeit, yes, a charlatan. Deceit leaked off him. I could smell it like a horse sense water on the wind. It was rank and elemental. In his slick suit pocket was the cliched narrative he'd align you with would use no matter what was said, just as salt pushed out its tentacles like the lost tide lapping at a headland, as the granite holds itself and refuses that commingling. Here is a sprig of heather, a flower. Who made it out of this? Um, I'm really, really pleased to have been paired with Jane Ye for this reading. I absolutely love her work and in particular her animal poems, um, high on my list of favourites of which is one called Kittens, in which she memorably describes them among a host of other things as being like demented marshmallows. Um, I have a lot of cat poems myself and in honour of the pairing I'm going to read one of those, which is really just about the um, parental lineage of my first cat, um, and in particular his mother, uh, who abided with my friend Sharon. My horse also lived at Sharon's house for about a year, during which time she had um, some notable dealings with this cat, which confirmed my already existing uh, sense of the cat's brilliance and made me very keen uh, to offer a home to one of her kittens when kittens came along. Credentials. The mother still holds sway as the only thing ever to get the better of the horse, who's run you back and forth with a squared jaw over the field breaks of all these years, sweating, swearing. It spent the night in the hay rack once, batting your woman in the face should she approach. Out went the soft feeler of nose, and out went the armoured foot of the canny feline, which in its head framed the rapport between dried fodder taken in and deliberated by the jaws of the mare, and loss of the comfortable bed it had finally happened on as it passed, intent on dinner. So it hid her in the face all night, and retained the sweet mattress of the hay, O oh, felina triumphant. And when it fell pregnant, you declared full heartily, I want me one of them. Thanks so much for listening. Um, thanks ever so much to the John Hewitt for inviting me to take part in this wonderful series. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.